Hi! Welcome to my channel. My name is Josefine. But how are you? How is life? How do you feel? Is life treating you good? I don't feel like life recently is really treating people so good. I feel like most people or most people I know have felt very down or depressed. I certainly have. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to do my makeup because I'm going out for dinner with a few friends. I have somewhat done my hair. It's just like a slick back ponytail. I put some oil in my hair, so I'm just waiting for that to get soaked off. But this part right here is kind of done, I think. I'm not quite sure. So yeah, let's just hop right into it, actually. I'm just rambling a lot. I love to talk, even though I hate my own voice, you know? And I need some lip balm. Okay, so I have around one and a half hours. So I am hoping to get this done in about an hour. So it's just going to be a very simple makeup look. Um, yeah, I'm just putting on some Carmex. I know people say Carmex isn't that good because it makes you addicted. Um, yeah, I really can't say anything about that because at the moment I have six different Carmex Fs in my bag because, well, I'm addicted and I love it when brands launches the same product but just with different flavors or smells or i just have to have it like all of them so karmics have done that recently and i love collecting them it's a problem i'm not gonna lie they really don't care anyway like this one this is the peach peach and mango flavored one and it smells like candy oh it smells amazing so i really have all my reasons to buy it I need to do some skincare. If you see some lash glue on my lashes, I can't, I cannot get rid of it at all. So it's stuck there. So if you have any tips or tricks or products that you like to use to get rid of eyelash glue, hit me down below because my mom always tells me when I have lash glue on my lashes like this, it looks like you have an eye infection and nobody wants to be around that. So yeah, help a girl out because I don't want people to just be like, uh, -uh that girl, we're not gonna sit with her. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I'm going in with the Dare Eclairs Fundamental Water Gel Cream. My fave at the moment. So light on the skin and it soaks up quite fast. I'm about to under my eyes. Just not get it in my eye. That would be amazing. And I also would like to say that on camera my hair kind of looks tiny bit red um it's not or is it though it's more of a dark blonde i'm i'm naturally blonde and why does my hair look red but i kind of like it though i always wanted to have red hair and green eyes like oh my god i think it's beautiful absolutely stunning yes yeah, still have that redness going on that is literally the problem with having transparent skin is every time you have some sort of discoloring or coloring on your face, it stands out like a sore thumb. Um, I'm just going in with the Advanced Snail Mansion Power Essence from Cosrx. I really like it, but I'm very bad at using it um, as much as I should, because it's really hydrating. I like that you get kind of like a tack to it or grip. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, that feels real nice. Okay, I need a primer, but I'm not quite sure which one I want to use yet. I have this one from First Aid Beauty. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie. Oh my god, it's smoothie. I thought it... Hmm. First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. Priming Moisturizer. Safe for sensitive skin. Lovely, because I need all the safety for my sensitive skin. I also love how it smells. Maybe that took a little bit too much, but it's going to be okay. We're going to be fine. I'm not sure which foundation I want to use either. Um, I don't know if I want to go full coverage or more lighter. I do have like the redness, as you can see, if I want to cover that up, like really up, but I couldn't use spot conceal to cover that. Um, decisions decisions so i think do i want to go more full coverage shall i i think i will do that i'm going to do that 
I'm going to use my Be Perfect Chroma Cover Foundation. I love this stuff, so no wonder why I'm going to use it anyway. But it's amazing, but really heavy duty coverage. I have the shades N1, N3, and W1. Okay, so I have to mix a few shades here. I think I want to take N1. As you can see, it's very thick, like thick. Then N3. Then I'm going to just blend them together. See if I can get a good shade match. Uh, somewhat okay. Start just putting some onto my face. As you can see, it's quite full coverage. But I really don't mind it at all. Oh no, this is going to be so annoying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I also have like a little scarring on my cheek right here. So we're just going to ignore that and also this one because yes, I pluck my skin. <laughs> Don't do that, kids. Learn from my mistakes, please. Oh my god, just look at that. That is just pure flawless. Pure flawlessness. Love that. Nothing is better than when you just feel like flawless. <laughs> recently, I feel like the drugstore, or I shouldn't say recently, because these two concealers did not come out this year, I think. It's a, it's a while since they came out, and they are amazing. The L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer, of course, that is amazing, we all know that. But this one from Rimmel, the Multitasker Concealer, this one amazing and i mean amazing because it doesn't crease and that is something that do not occur often on my uh, skin i think i'm going to use this today actually as you can see it this is in the shade porcelain and it kind of it kind of reminds me of the tart shape tape i've never tried it so i really can't tell you if it's similar in consistency or uh, finish, but I feel like the packaging reminds me of the, the tart shape day. Here and here. So then I'm just taking my Spectrum B05, um, but I love it to just blend out my concealer. This one or the Cat Paw brush from Real Techniques. Oh, I don't remember the shade, not the shade, but like the brush code or name, but that one is amazing as well. Oh. It just blends out so flawlessly on the skin. Mm. I love it. Then I'm just going over with my sponge to make sure everything is blended out even more flawlessly. Since I don't have so much time, I think I'm going to skip my cream contour and just go straight into my cream bronzer. And today I really fancy this one, the NARS Laguna Original Cream Bronzer. And it smells amazing. I remember it was so hard to get a hold of this one. Um, it was just sold out everywhere in Norway. So that was annoying. But I finally got it. <laughs> finally got it. And I actually love it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the original. Okay, that was way too much. I'm just going to use this to buff that into my skin to just warm it up a little bit. And I'm going back to the other side to fix that up. <laughs> yes. It just gives like a tiny bit of color and shape. I like to bring my bronzer here as well, just to contour my nose a tiny bit and down. Gonna blend you so you look more flawless and seamless. But I think my skin looks kind of pretty. I like the base for now. For my cream blush, I'm using the Nude Sticks Nudist Bloom, the Bohemian Rose. Such a pretty shade. It doesn't smell anything, so. Now you know that. <laughs> I'm just going to warm it up on my hand first. Stunning, like, ugh, stunning. I'm just going to pick it up on my brush and then onto my face, because I feel like that is the most safest option. I'm taking my NYX 08 Dual Fiber Brush, my favorite blush 
or cream blush brush and start to tap that in. Oh, such a beautiful shade. I oh, love that. Okay, and like so, then I'm just picking up the rest on my hand with my sponge and just tapping that in. Then I think it's time for me to powder and set this in place so nothing moves. Yeah. Take a shot every time I'm saying, let's do that. Or I'm gonna do that. Or every time I'm mentioning that. <laughs> I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in this beautiful packaging. Taking a little bit onto my lid so I can massage my powder into my brush. This is the Morphe E48. I'm going to take a little bit, then this powder. Then I start to powder down my nose, then my chin, and then my forehead. Like my T-zone where I know if I get very warm or sweaty, that is usually where my sweat is coming through. My forehead, my upper lip, and my chin. It is so gorgeous. Like, this foundation I think is going to be my favorite for a very long time at least. And I don't set my bronzer or my cream blush because usually when I'm putting on my powder blush and powder um, bronzer, I use that as my way of setting my cream products so i think i'm going to use my urban decay beached bronzer in some kissed i used it in my last video and i kind of fell in love with it again so so i'm using eu cutie taking a little bit onto my eco tools brush which has no name or number but it's this one wipe a little bit onto my hand and just start to set this area here I kind of felt like using something pink today. I feel like that shade right there would be really pretty. And this is from the Kimchi Chic Beauty. And this is the Taylor blush in the shade TB05 or Peachy. That could be kind of cute. Yeah, let's go for that one. I'm gonna take my Flare um, 204 Flared Blush Brush. This blush is pigmented as hell so be careful with these ones i could just say blush is the first to vanish so why not just go ham on the blush because it's going to vanish anyway no but i love blush maybe a little bit too much are you really you can't love blush too much because it's stunning you know what i kind of like how it's <laughs> natural <laughs> and so i don't think i'm putting on any eyeshadow or do anything special with my eyes i don't think i even want to do liner to be honest okay so this is how we're looking for now i definitely need some glow back to my skin even though we have some shine already i actually just picked up this one the mac soft and gentle one the mineralized skin finish it's been a long time since i've used it but it is pretty though like it's really pretty and i hope you look as pretty as i remember you looking <laughs> i'm using my unicorn cosmetics 2 1 or 21 brush and then just very gently buffing you in and off to my temple oh that's pretty the only thing i'm scared of right now is that i'm starting to lean very much towards the 2016 beauty guru makeup <laughs> But like I don't, I love it though. Like I love it. Sometimes I'm into like no makeup makeup, like the really clean girl makeup. And sometimes I want to go full glam, you know. And I love that. Or maybe do I want to do a wing now? Now I'm thinking about it. It would be kind of cute with like a, just like a brown eyeshadow line. <sighs> do I want to do that? Goddamn! What do I want to do? Ah, now, I'm, oh, now I don't know what I want to do. Wait, let me see if I like that shade. I do have the Cypress Amber shade from ABH Soft... No, not Soft Glam, the Modern Renaissance. Oh my god, what a throwback. Now, now it's really the 2016 uh, Makeup Guru vibes here. Oh my god, this could be such a mistake. And then I cannot go back. Let's do like a tiny, tiny wing. Yeah, like so. It's... Yeah. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, but... It's okay. That is the best it's going to get with those liners. <laughs> and yeah, it was not my liner day today. I can tell you that right away. That got kind of cute though. But like this one, I don't know. That eye is never my strongest 
side so i'm gonna i'm gonna let it be because if not i'm going to get so annoyed by it that i am probably going to take off my makeup and just not going to go to get dinner today i'm just kidding for my brows i i thought about using my nyx micro brow pencil and this is in the shade taupe i ran out of my benefit one yesterday so then we're going to jump into this one this pencil is really good so i'm not like complaining but i love my benefit one my precise lip brow pencil and i do really need to get my brow fixed like i hate doing brows it's my worst enemy <laughs> I just hate it, because I feel like I never get my brows right. You know what, I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna do any more on, on those brows. That was enough. I don't think I even did much. Probably put down two strokes of brow pencil. I'm gonna take my Benefit 24 hour brow setter, because that is just bomb. My favorite brow setter. So then I just have lips and mascara left and I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. For my mascara, I have recently been using the Essence Lash Princess, the purple one, which is sculpted and volume mascara. Essence have bomb mascaras, and I mean bomb mascaras, I think. I think especially the lash princess range is the most popular one but like for good reasons though and yes i always do get mascara on my eyelids when i use this mascara that is probably the only negative thing i have to say about this mascara <laughs> so and then my mascara is like all over my eyelids i love that i think i'm just going to do my lips and let my mascara dry before i remove it just like wipe it away or flick it away with my eyebrow spoolie but for lips what do I want to do? Hmm. I bought another one or a new shade in the Buxom Power line in the shade Dangerous Dolly, which I have not tried yet. So maybe we should just try this one. See how that goes. I've never really been into pink or more pink leaning liners. So this is something new for me. But let's see how it goes. Oh, this is really pink. That is smooth, but that is pink. Whoa. Okay, I don't. I did not expect it to be this pink, so I have to go in with a lipstick that is much more nude. I have this one. Nah, I have this one, heart robe. I think you can be kind of cute. That is from Buxom as well in the shade heart rub, and this is the full force lipstick. Yeah, that's better. Then I need a gloss. This is another Buxom product, but I do love my Buxom lip products because they're just amazing. This is in the shade White Russia. No, White Russian. I don't know what I think. It's quite different for me. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I just have to get used to it. Then we have to remove that mascara up here. I think we have it. I think I'm actually done. Just have to see if I have lipstick on my teeth. But yeah, it is this makeup and now we'll get dressed and I will be right back. Yes, okay, bye bye. Okay, so I just came home, so cozy, so nice. Um, I actually did not get any outfit photos. <laughs> so I very quickly just took some, now not the best photos. I could have done better, but I didn't mind, I didn't care. So that was my out fit that i used and anyways this is the makeup and i did decide to put my hair up into a bun i felt like that just suited my it just suited my mood better thank you so much for watching and if you want to you can follow me on tiktok and instagram everything is linked down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will link um, the makeup products that I used down in the description box as well. Some links are affiliate links. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Yes. Bye.